well, good morning. It's the first morning after my knee, total knee replacement, which was last night at 3.30. It's going pretty good. Uh, I had to go to the bathroom three times, counting this morning, and no problem. You just flip over there and get on that walker and go in there. <laughs> Quite pleased with the progress so far. They, I'm, I'm, I'm eating my breakfast. I have this machine on my leg now that, and this little guy, that little guy constantly raises and lowers my leg. Uh, we'll do that two hours every day. I, I think that's what it's going to be, and then that's going home with me, which is a wonderful thing. Over here on the on the other foot, oh, trust me, it's uh, something that's compressing my leg and then releasing. It's kind of comforting uh, uh, the way that does. I have um, an ice machine on my uh, operated leg and th that is a game changer. I mean, keep that, she said I use that every day, so I will. Uh, things are going well. Oh. I want to tell you uh, something I did that really was a big hit is I bought, I had delivered a dozen cookies, Tiff Streets, really good cookies. And boy, they all, there's the guy that gave the cookies. And so, wink, good, good way to go, good little trick. Well, back to my breakfast. Um, things are going well, but I will take a nap. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg. Up until a few years ago, I was in the best shape of my life. I played basketball until I was 50. I hiked mountains. I do Pilates three times a week. Then my knees started acting up. Pain, swelling, even buckling underneath me. On my last trip, mission trip to Uganda, a man had to push me up a mountain because my knee hurts so much. I'm 66 now, and with Medicare, I can finally do something about this pain. So come with me on this daily video journey of my total knee replacement surgery. I'm not a doctor, just a regular guy here to show you what it looks like before and after surgery and the recovery process. I've learned a lot of tips and tricks I just couldn't find on the internet. It's my hope that this series helps someone just like you. So come join me on this adventure. Okay, I had a full first day uh, with a little light PT. Um, just warn you that the little pain block they put above my knee uh, still hasn't gone away, so I cannot lift my leg yet. But it, 24 to 48 hours, and it's just been over 24, so uh, hopefully I wake up in the morning and I can uh, use those uh, muscles there to start doing leg lifts. Um, I just, uh, but I, they also started me on the machine, and I, you got to get it. The people that don't have it wish they did and it's it's that thing right there it looks kind of world war ii ish but it lowers and lifts bends your knee it lowers and you got to do that well i did it tonight but i think i did it too much i did it for three hours and i just went for a walk around the nurse's station ouch ouch that hurt but i'm taking my medicine uh the a tylenol 4 and some other medicine to make me go to the bathroom so I don't get all uh, constipated. And I'm peeing good. And um, so I can't even sit up to tell you all this story. I'm just, what a full day. But So I have my uh, compression socks on and, uh, and then I have these compression things that are both squeezing and letting go of my calves. Um, and then I have, of course, the sutures are covered by an ACE wrap and, and I have my ice on there as well and she forgot to put the ice on i'm glad i'm glad we did this video so uh you got sometimes the, they're wonderful nurses everywhere but sometimes they'll forget little things here or there so uh you're in charge of your health so so okay i will buzz the nurse and uh good night to everybody and uh wake up with uh, let you know how i'm doing tomorrow this is real talk here not these other fancy talk. I'm not a fancy talker. I'm just telling you real stuff. What's happening to me, and I'll we'll even discuss how I, how I check out of this place. Okay, the PT guy just came in and took me. 
uh, looked at everything. We went for a long walk. I'm able to do heel toe now. Uh, and I had a horrible night last night. I was, it was very painful from whatever. But uh, that pain block thing is gone now, and so I can feel everything, but in a good way. Now I can move my leg, and I'm able to lift my legs. It's hard to do, but I can do that. So things are really, this is days, well, really only it's 48 hours after surgery, but it's already improving. This is amazing. So hang in there, keep going, as they say here. Uh, pain is just weakness leaving the body so do your PT I've already been started my PT right now okay I came home Wednesday uh, afternoon and so today is Friday evening we're settled down I got this machine that lifts and lowers my leg we've talked about and I've got the, the ice machine going down there love that gotta have that it's been working well Got compression socks on. I have these little, these are more of an annoyance, but I do them. They're some kind of compressing thing for my calves. Also, so I don't get that deep vein thrombosis. So I'll do that. But anyway, hang in there. The the third day back, is that right? If I got here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, I was more organized. I had all the pills laid out ahead of time. I knew what I was doing. I had some good naps today. I really nap good in this, this leg stretcher. Uh, so um, I know that uh, that's gonna be on for another two hours now. I'll, I'll sleep well and then get up at 4 a.m. And, and take my medicine because I'm gonna take it just like clockwork and we'll see how this thing plays out. Well, I thought I should update you also. I'm still using the walker. I, I could go to the cane, but I just feel secure. Why take a chance of my, because of my pride with the walker? So I'm sticking with the walker for a day or two more, uh, for sure. And I'm doing those exercises. The PT uh, came by yesterday, and uh, I, I think that was painful too, but I'm doing those. Uh, one of them I call the Tower of Terror. It, it hurts so bad, but stick with it. I'm going to do it, and uh, we'll walk through this thing together, guys.